Many of you are probably aware that Russian or Soviet tanks use autoloaders. They are quite famous for that. But what many of you probably don't know is what happens when that autoloader fails. Is it actually possible to load the tank manually? The information for this video is mainly taken from a Yugoslavian T-72 manual, or rather M84 and T-72 manual from 1991. I used other sources, but we will get to them later. Now, there are two different ways to load a tank if a failure of autoloader occurs. There is a semi-automatic manual procedure and a completely manual one. Semi-automatic manual procedure is conducted if the autoloader is working partially or if there is some issue with the electronic system which would automatically guide the autoloader. In any case, the procedure goes a little something like this. The gun of the tank is brought and locked into the loading position. There is a light which indicates when that happens. Once the gun is in that position, the crew, in this case it's stated that the commander should do it, traverses the autoloader carousel manually with an appropriate handle located on it. Before that, the gunner should check what type of ammunition was the last in the loading position, so the commander would know how much or if to turn the carousel at all. Once a projectile is in the position for elevation, it sort of clicks into place, and the commander then turns the manual handle located on the autoloader's elevator, which rises the ammunition from the carousel up to the level of the gun. Once the projectile is elevated, he unhinges it from the elevator and manually pushes it into the gun bridge. Once he pushes it in, he grabs a wooden ram which is also located in the tank for these instances and pushes the projectile all the way to the end, until he no longer can. And now, since the charge is located above the projectile, he turns the handle again to lower the charge to the loading position, unhinges it and pushes it until it's halfway into the bridge then grabs the ram and pushes with it until the breach is closed. And then the gunner should get a notification on his side that the gun is loaded and that he can proceed with the firing. And that would pretty much be the semi-automatic procedure. Note that it can happen that either the elevator or the carousel are completely functional, and one of them is not. Then only the specific procedure for each part is taken, not the entire process. But what about a completely manual procedure? Well, this one I would imagine is much more rare than the previous one. The tank is loaded manually mostly only if the outloader is physically damaged and the rotation of the parts is impossible. In that case, the gun is brought into the loading position and then the commander grabs one of the ammo pieces from the tank's internal storage. He grabs the desired projectile, also pushes it all the way down with the ram, grabs a charge and does the same pushes it with the ram until the bridge is closed. Sounds much simpler, but I would imagine it's much easier to just turn some handles and push the ammo in, rather than going around the tank and picking up pieces of ammunition. It should be noted that all T-72s have pretty much the same outloaders, with slight changes over the years, but the premise has always remained the same. All T-72-based tanks also share the same kind of outloader, from Polish PT-91 Twardy to ex-Yugoslavian M84 and even T-90, all share the same type of an autoloader. Now, the spent duds can also be ejected manually when the gun fires, or in extreme cases, elevated back down into the carousel. Now, I said I don't have a T-80 or a T-64 manual, because the autoloaders are not the same, but I have a very detailed book on T-80 tanks from Ivan and Mikhail Pavlov. In the book, it is stated, in case of failure of the automatic or semi-automatic loading drives of the autoloader, it was possible to load the gun from the carousel using the manual or duplicate drives of carousel rotating mechanism and the elevator mechanism of the autoloader with the stabilizer turned off. The gun could also be loaded manually with the shells taken from the non-mechanized ammunition racks of the tank. At the same time, bringing the projectile to the gun when it is brought to the loading line was carried out manually with a rammer located in the clips under the commander's seat. So yeah, pretty much the same situation there. Well, there you go, now you know how the Russian, or rather Soviet tanks are loaded manually. Keep in mind that autoloader failures are extremely rare. If properly maintained, they will outlive many parts of the tank. And apparently, they are so rare that the Russians decided to first 
remove all extra ammunition from the fighting compartment of T90M, making it completely impossible to load if the autoloader is physically damaged, and then completely disconnect the autoloader from the crew in T14 Armata, making it completely impossible to load the gun in a semi-automatic or manual way. If the video does good, I will try to find some more information on other autoloading tanks like French Leclerc, for example. But for now, that will be all. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. And if you can't, just leave a like or a sub to the channel if you're new. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.